Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's too early for cameras. Am I really supposed to speak? Yes. Is it going? Yes. What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. <laughs> we are in Austin, Texas. It is Friday. It is day one of KetoCon, day two of our vlog. How are you this awake? I am wide awake. I'm excited because it's KetoCon. So let's do an intro real quick and then we will roll our regular intro. And while they're watching that, we will go down and find something to eat at our complimentary breakfast. Can I have coffee first? Well, we have to go downstairs and get it. So if you're new to our channel, <laughs> my name is Joe. And I'm Rachel. And we're Two Crazy Ketos. And here on our channel, we do different things like product reviews. We do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics. And then once a week, we sit down on the couch for a keto on the couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media networks like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is TwoCrazyKetos.com. <laughs> And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video with me looking like a crazy lady like that just woke up, you'll be alerted to it. Okay, so take a look at this intro and we're going to go find something to eat. What's in here? Nada. Sausage? Open it. Sausage. Jerky sausage. And scrambled eggs, but I'm probably not going to trust them. I'm assuming those are like powdered eggs. But they didn't have those mayonnaise. So I just got a bunch of fixings. I got a couple hard boiled eggs and I'm gonna make my own scrambled eggs. That is the creepiest bell. It's like for whom the bell tolls bell. Yeah, I feel like we're in the twilight zone right now. Yeah. So I'm gonna go make some scrambled eggs and we're gonna use this as fixings. Yeah. So lesson number one, when you do YouTube and you travel, bring some lights with you or some kind of little battery operated LED light. So I'm going to apologize up front for whenever we shoot video in here because the lighting is horrible and we can't seem to get it right, but we're gonna do the best we can. So this is what I'm eating for breakfast. I am having, I've got three eggs, they're pasture-raised eggs that we got at HEB, and then I got two pack, two of those sausage patties. I've got some cheese, I've got some spinach, then two more things of cheddar, uh, Swiss cheese on top. We picked this up at HEB. We tried the green version at that burger place. It was really good. This stuff is awesome. And then of course I've got my real salt. Then I'm having, yes, a grape Waterloo. I love grape, so yes, I'm having a grape Waterloo. And then afterwards I'm going to have, to start our day off, this is the Grapefruit Zevia Energy Drink. So as soon as Rachel gets out of the shower, I'm gonna take my shower and we're gonna to head to the conference. There's something wrong with my zip fizz this morning. What's wrong with that? It's like flat, there's no fizz. It's just zip, I guess. Maybe it's fruit punch. Maybe you're not supposed to drink fruit punch anymore. Something is wrong with fruit punch and no more fruit punch. You gotta drink grape. You're crazy. <laughs> Let's not get crazy. I'm actually drinking a super coffee. These things are awesome. I've had them once before. We got it from HEB and H -E -B. I really like them. And um, there's only one total carb in the entire bottle. That's amazing. So they're really good. And I know they're actually here. So we're gonna do a total complete review of this thing. So, so we're awesome. on our way to KetoCon for we the first it. day. It's day got one out of, bed. of KetoCon. We got Rachel out of bed. I put some makeup on because as you can tell, I have like, a, I have to put on a face, literally. I need a new face. My morning face is not a good face. 
That is so not true. You don't even need to wear makeup. No, I, I'm a girl that needs makeup. That's okay. That's why God made makeup for girls like me. It's all good. This place is amazing. It is so cool. And like we've already had a bunch of you guys walk up to us and meet us and it's so cool to meet you guys. We love it. Yeah, so we just left the Grapau booth, which Grapau. if you're seeing this, you've already seen our review video of the Grapau. And I gotta tell you, the flavors that we did not review. We are buying. We are buying them while we're here at the show. And again, the, they're awesome. I can't believe how, I, I don't know which one's my favorite anymore. I don't know, because they're all like freakishly good. And we met Rosie, the creator of Rosie's Apple Pie. She is amazing and it is delicious. We are here with Evan, who is the founder, right? Founder the and founder. Uh, yeah, founder and CEO, I guess, if you want to. For say that. Peak Yogurt. It is crazy good. It is so awesome. So, totally Evan, what made you actually want to start this yogurt? Well, I saw a lot of yogurts were low fat or non fat, packed with sugar. So, I wanted to do something very different. So, our yogurt is triple cream, organic, 17% milk fat, totally keto friendly macros. There's nothing else like it. And it's made with organic pasture based dairy. It doesn't hurt that it's delicious. Yeah. That too, I'll admit, it's pretty dang delicious. So Rachel actually, Evan, like years ago, she lost all of her weight. She only ate like yogurt and oatmeal. Oatmeal. That's she amazing. Congrats, 500 calories of oatmeal and 150 calories of yogurt. So she has really missed it. And there's no yogurt right now that she Serious. can eat on keto. It's so, and this is so good. Like everything I've been missing. So, well, Evan, this stuff is incredible. Guys, if you have not tried Peak Yogurt, it is gonna be back in the stores. Why don't you let, them tell, let you tell them, Evan? Yeah, so we've been out of stock for a couple months. We're between manufacturers, but we got a great new partner. We're coming back in September. We'll be stores in stores on the West Coast. And we are shipping all across the country for the most part, with the exception of a couple states. And we just relaunched our we just launched our pre-order campaign for our new 16 ounce pints today. So go online, peakyogurt.com, check it out. We ship to most states across the country. We're really excited. Unfortunately, about not our state. Can't ship We're to coming. Florida. So and you guys you can use the coupon code 2 Crazy Ketos for 15% off. Yay! So guys. I have been missing cottage cheese and we just found this. It's called Good Culture. And it's good. It is incredible. They have three different kinds. They have a 2%, a 4%, and a 6%. The, we're going to do a full review on this later on, the 4%. Um, th they gave me a cup of it, but they also have a 6% milk fat and a 6% milk fat. Three total carbs for the whole cup. And available in Publix. It's available in Publix. Whole Foods, Target, she said it's available all over the place and I'm gonna to try to get her to hook me up with some coupons to do a giveaway for you guys. So we were just walking around and we are having a great it time. So awesome. It is so awesome that so many of you guys are coming up to us. Like we are so like honored and blessed to be able to be part of your lives. We love getting to talk to you. So, and there's a lot of cool things we got to hang out and talk to Robert and Crystal. We got to quick. actually see, watch Autumn Keto. Yep, and a little little thing about uh, Keto Brick, they are permanently bringing back the coconut cream. Crystal Thank just you. told us. Lord. So if you like that coconut cream one, they're permanently bringing it back. So we've got to get the Ooh. correct pronunciation. Okay, so the correct, pro correct pronunciation, it's intact or intact. Intact. intact? intact. We do we review it all the time and make fun of the fact that they're not a saying. You're saying intact and I'm saying intact. There are some new flavors that we haven't tried. Wow, that was so much fun, but I'm exhausted. I feel like my eyes have been like overwhelmed with awesomeness and like they're they're kind of tired. And also, I thought I had eaten my way through an entire convention center, but it seems that I've only eaten my way through half of a convention center. I would say it's more like a third. I don't think we've get, gotten through a, like a third of the aisles yet. I am really glad we did a cut down to KetoCon. <laughs> Before we got here, we're gonna need to do a cut down to going home, probably. Yeah. So it is four o'clock. We got to the convention center at 9 a.m. It literally took us almost two hours just to get down the first aisle between talking to, to people, people, meeting people, meeting some vendors, so and meeting other keto people. Like I got to spend some time talking to Gourmet. We talked to like Robert Sykes and Crystal. We got to see Autumn. Yeah, she we is saw so gorgeous. And uh, oh, some time we spent some time talking to Aaron from High yes, Fat High so Fun. Yes, so cool. Oh my goodness. Yes, I was totally geeking out with with both Autumn um, and 
I want to call him 80 keto I know. every time. I know I it still, is high I'm fat, sorry, high Aaron. fun. I know it's high fat, high fun, but You'll I don't know. You'll always be 80 keto. You'll always be 80 keto to me. And you know, heck, I've been subscribed to him since he had 100 subscribers, so. Both of them look like superheroes. Yes. They are like so statuesque and tall, it is like awesome. Yeah, so shock of the day for me is Autumn is tall. I mean, and and her YouTube channel does not do her justice. She she's looks gorgeous, gorgeous, but she's even more gorgeous in person. Yes, she. I mean, but she is tall. Like I thought you were tall, but she is tall. She is Wonder Woman. It is official. I knew that you never saw Autumn and Wonder Woman in the same space. So now we know what her like alter ego is. She's Wonder Woman. Yeah, that's it. I'm yeah. sure of it. Yeah. So overall. Incredible day. We spent some time talking to the folks from Keto Chow. Mm -hmm. They've got some new products coming out. And tomorrow, we're going to sit down and actually kind of like interview them a little bit. Yeah, I'm excited uh, for super that. Super nice people. Also got to talk to the owner of um, Pee Wee Hunters. He is like the coolest dude He is dude the coolest dude ever. ever. And that's how he talks. Like, yo, dude. You yeah. Know, awesome guy. We're going to spend some time talking to him this weekend. Mm-hmm. And we found some incredible new products. And again, we've only been through half of the convention. You know what I love about the convention that like you we really don't get even even when we break down, you know, the macros on stuff and, and we test stuff and you you know, you test your blood glucose, all, all of the things, th these are all sides of these products, but when you meet the owners of these products face to face and you get to find out what's the story behind this. What was their motivation for getting into making this product in the first place? And one of the the, the stories that really impacted us a lot was meeting the owner of Intact. Yes. Right? So for those of you who have been watching us for a little while, you know we love cheese snacks. We love them. And there's we have like a lot of them. The intact ones has always been kind of lower on the list for me. Because we're like, you have to add salt. You have to add salt. They're good, but you have to add salt. Well, we spent some time talking to the owners. From Chile. They just went, honestly, for me, from at the bottom to the top. Yeah. Number one, because of the integrity of them. Yes. Right? They've got incredible integrity. We spent some time talking about, like, I did not know. I thought that they were baked. No. Right? They're it's dehydrated. dehydrated cheese. That was incredible. And he went over like, it's the same technology as moon cheese and the technology comes from Canada. And he's like, and so we talked about, like, I kind of mentioned to him, like, hey, like, you know, one of my issues has been the salt. And he explained what the salt deal is. He's like, here's the thing. The only other company that has like their kind of product is moon cheese. Mm -hmm. And the other products, the cellos and the wisps and stuff like that. Well, those still are wisps. No, and they're two uh, different car companies. They're Carm Trust, right? So they have, he said, like, the reason they're salty is it's like the type of cheese and where they're getting it from. And he's like, it's like, so if you have like, you're cooking a pizza in the oven, their cheese is what falls off of the pizza and is left at the bottom. So it's super salty. The other thing that we did not know, it's not on their packaging is the intact is all grass-fed milk and to get the grass-fed grass finish guarantee you've got to have the farmer like sign off yeah on, on that, and that's like, what's and happening. it's a lot of money and here's the thing they're not just getting their cheese from one farmer they're going to a hundred farms and like yep. clearing them out all these little small artisanal family like nose to tail businesses you know they're getting the the cheese from there and so yeah it's, so it's a the little integrity of that company and they've got we tried some new flavors that aren't even available yet that was incredible and a couple another flavor they've got another flavor coming out like a blueberry oh my gosh it was the best thing i've ever had and that was certified keto which isn't an easy yep. thing to get because you know the blueberry sometimes when it, you add a fruit to a keto thing we start to get all panicky and so they did do that extra you know due diligence of going through and yeah, getting changing it. up products products and sweeteners and everything else. A couple of a couple of like baking products we found that were very good. So I want to ask you cuz we're going to actually go on like some kind of bike ride or something. We're going to go do some kind of date thing. We need we to go do a time. touristy thing. So okay, so far we ha we haven't done the whole place yet mm -hmm. and we are going to do a top 10 going 10 to 1. So far, favorite product of the day. We tried a butter 
that is like a shelf stable butter. Is it chamois? Yeah, let's put up that video right now. We found so far the best product here at KetoCon in Austin. Take a look at this stuff. It's called real butter. Chef chamois. Chef chamois. Chef chamois. Look at this. This stuff is awesome. It'll sl you'll, and you'll have to sell slap it, your mama. They sell it in Sam's Club, and you can put it on your shelf for 45 and days. And Target. Don't even have to refrigerate it. You guys have got to try this. We're going to pick some up and do a full review on our channel. Okay. So, oh my goodness, there was so much delicious garlic in that garlic butter. Like, we could totally bite That vampires. stuff was amazing. Okay, I also tasted the onion one. What is wrong with you? It was delicious. Well, now your breath just smells like onions. I don't date need night. you doing that. It's date night. Well, you're not getting a kiss now. <sighs> the black truffle one was really good. Honestly, what was sad for me is the one that's not available in the stores right now mm -hmm. is just the regular Himalayan sea salt one. I know. But yeah, I love the fact it's available in Sam's Club. You can go to their website and look Target. up exactly where it is. And the Targets, but the Targets only sell the smaller containers. That's okay. They don't have the big tubs of it. I can buy a bunch of them. But what I really like, shelf stable, 45 days, even after you open it. My mom will be thrilled at this. My, we, She used to leave the margarine out like for days that stuff is incredible like so, so that's your favorite product of the day so far the butter on the counter is back mom <laughs> she'll be excited and we and my brother and i used to roll our eyes like oh my gosh you need to put this away she's like it's fine so what was your favorite bite of the day oh that's tough there were so many good products today i, I don't even know where to start our entire back seat is full. we got like three bags of stuff to go we through. spent so much money but it was so worth yeah it. we had some companies give us some stuff and say please do some reviews on this and then some of the stuff we tried them like oh no i'm buying some I would of like this all stuff. of this please okay so here's what i think okay so i've got to do some honorable mentions he gets to do honorable mentions yeah i'm doing honorable mentions so the f-bomb nut butter stuff Incredible. Yes. I think one of my favorite nut butters now. Yeah. And they have a meat stick coming out that's not even available yet. It is like, it's a strange texture. It's like an awesome thing. It's but nothing like, nothing like, like Chom's beef sticks. No. What no. would you say it's like? It's. I'll tell you what it is because I'm the expert when it comes to beet sticks. He knows his meat. I know my meat. This stuff, it's like a kielbasa in a meat stick form. Okay, yeah. Go buy the smoked kielbasa in the refrigerated section, yes. but in the meat stick form. So it's like Same safe texture, to leave out. tastes really good, so that's gotta be up there. Yeah. Uh, the butter, but you already named the butter. I'm gonna tell you the shock of the day, the shock of the day was this piece right here with Shrewd Foods. Okay guys, so we're here at KetoCon in Austin, and we're at the Shrewd Fru Foods, Shrewd Foods, right? Shrewd, Shrewd Foods. Foods. Say that at their the booth, and if you guys remember right, a, a couple of months ago, we did a review on their protein puffs, and if you remember right, we didn't like them. Yeah, it was like, it was, we felt like the flavor was on the outside and not on the inside. Well, they've redone the formulation. Holy mackerel. And they're incredible. So, like, we are going to pick some up and do a full review, but I'm going to tell you, these are not the same things that we had a few months ago when our keto crate. They Get taste completely different. The sour cream flavor. Yeah. Will change awesome. your day. Will, will change your day. So, so thanks for letting us Thank like come over. Nice. Oh my yeah. gosh. Enjoy. Awesome. Enjoy. Yeah, so I was really shocked by that. Isn't that amazing? It, I mean, here's the thing. We weren't very nice to them in our review. Well, it wasn't that we weren't nice. It was just we didn't like the product, and we're not going to lie and say we do. I don't know. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link of it right up here. Go check it out. I think we were pretty harsh when we, we did that. We were kind of spicy about it. I remember saying something about like a like year-old Dollar Tree something. Yeah, maybe we did say that. <laughs> so, well, they've changed the formula. They changed the formula, and here's the thing. They were actually right next door to Dang Foods. Dang! And we were talking to the owners of Dang, and they're like, hey, have you tried Shrewd Foods? And we're going, yeah, we don't want to yeah. look at that. They're going to throw vegetables at us. Yeah, I'm like, that's the owner over there. And yeah, we didn't review their product really good. And she's like, go try it again. They've reformulated it. And, so like, and okay. boy, how did did they? And wow, was it good. It was like, I was shocked at how good it is. And that Big just difference. shows you, like, you got to give companies feedback. Yeah, right? they want the feedback. Yep. Because this is like, a, the keto landscape is still such a baby landscape. And we need to let them know if something's not good. And especially when you're dealing with the sweeteners too. Yep. They're trying to find out like, wh you know, wh where should they be on the erythritol levels and the stevia and the monk fruit and allulose and... Hey, I was last night, we were talking to the owner of Nush, Nush. Nush Foods. 
for their cakes and I told them like listen and this was the owner I said I have a love hate relationship with you True. and we were gonna hide from him too we we're like oh my gosh he's gonna see us and like we're not nice to all of his cakes I said I have a love hate relationship with it like some of them I love yeah some of them I don't like at all and I'm like he's like what's wrong with them? I'm like too chemical and he's like well what do you mean too chemical and I'm like ah too much of resveratrol too much of chemical and he goes let me guess one of them is banana nut and I'm like yes and he was like, guess what? We're reformulating stuff based on feedback like you guys are giving us. He's like, we're moving into our third reformulation. We're cutting back on the erythritol. Yeah. And so, so they're they trying need to, to get better. Stuff. All these companies are. So make sure when you try something, if you're like, wow, this is like, I'm never purchasing this again. Tell them why. Tell them why, at least first. And then see if they don't come out with like a tweaked version. And you may want to give them a shot yeah, later on. Absolutely. But we just found out today, Killer Cream Marie is dialing back the erythritol by a lot. Yeah. So, you know, they're like, it's going to be just as sweet, but we're dialing back that erythritol. They're so listening awesome. to customers. Yeah. So let's get back to, for me, it's a shocker, but the number one product so far okay. is going to be held by a dairy product. But and I, I can't even believe I'm going to say this. Where is that butter? It's not the butter. Okay. This is gonna be a toss up between the peak yogurt. Oh yes, we finally tried peak yogurt. And the good, I think it was the good brand. Yes. The good brand. Cottage not cheese. Not too good. Cottage cheese. And here's the thing about that cottage cheese, it's available in stores. Yeah, yeah. It's actually available in Whole Foods. Whole Foods, it's available in Publix. Was it Sprouts, did they say? Sprouts. And they gave us, we're gonna be doing a full review on it, and in that video, we're gonna do this. They gave us a bunch of coupons for free tubs to give away to you guys. Yeah. So we're gonna give away a whole bunch of them. Yes, I, I, I'm so excited, I can't even yep. speak. So I can't even pick which one is gonna hold my number one spot. It's probably gonna have to be Peak Yogurt. And the reason it's gonna be Peak Yogurt is because I was never a yogurt fan and I wanna eat a tub of that stuff this, right now. This will change your life. So, and I'm disappointed that we can't get it living in Florida. I feel like they've done that just so like to save us money. Like, no Joe, not you. Like, I know you will be like having it delivered on the daily, right? So, I ate, I made an omelet this morning that I showed you guys and I only ate half of it and I was full. Rachel hasn't eaten, so we are going to go in. We're gonna drop all this stuff off because we got some stuff that's gonna melt that we don't put it inside. And then we're gonna go find something to eat. We're gonna go do something touristy and then we'll sign off on this video a little bit later. See you later. So we went and explored Austin tonight. It was awesome. It was really awesome. I love this whole idea of like every corner has bicycles and you just rent the bicycle and then they have these scooters on every corner and you just kind of walk you up, just hop on it, grab ride the scooter, ride around, leave it wherever you want. Somebody else will come back and get it. That was the coolest thing. I think it's really funny though. So the whole idea of this is like, don't drive around. You can just come out and grab a scooter and like go down to the store, go to your job or whatever. With well, my luck. I'd come back out of that store, my scooter would be gone. <laughs> right, like I could just say like, hey, I'm gonna take the scooter, go to a restaurant, come back out. Now my scooter is gone. Now what do you do? Walk. Walk until you find another scooter, I guess. <laughs> but that was neat and Austin is such a beautiful town. Yes. So much to just see and we started getting hungry so we were like, we want like a fancy burger, you know. We looked around everywhere. We are like, I don't know. Cheddar and we're like, Wait a second, we have a kitchen. Right. We can go make fancy burgers. Yeah, we so. were looking at like menus and everything was gonna be like the burger it was gonna be like thirty, forty dollars. So we ended up going to Whole Foods and yeah. I got two different kinds of burgers. So they had a beef and bacon and cheddar burger. Was it just like ground ground beef? with bacon and cheddar mixed in, six ninety nine a pound. So I bought two of those, two half pound burgers. And we got a cowboy burger. And then I got the cowboy burger, which was six ninety nine a pound. And this one is 85% ground beef, uncured bacon, uh, which is pork, uh, and then some raw sugar, some beet powder, some cheddar cheese, pasteurized milk cultures, jalapeno peppers, garlic onion powder, and cheese. So got two of those, and we're just gonna go home and each eat a pound of ground beef. Serious, and then we but found in burger this. form. Kite Hill has a dip. Yes, and now Kite Hill has a dip. This is the almond milk yogurt base. It's a ranch dip, and we didn't even look at the macro. We bought this and didn't look at the macros. Uh -oh. So uh oh, we're in trouble. We got excited. So two tablespoons, thirty calories. What's the carbs on it? That's all we really count two carbs. Hey, we did good. We bought a Kite Hill. Didn't look at the nutrition label Thanks, for some Kite reason. Hill. 
We just trust them, I guess. I guess now it's come to that point. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. We decided that rather than going and spending forty dollars, we got like, a nice. We spent not 16. even twenty. It's been sixteen dollars in and Whole Foods. And we're gonna have burgers with bacon, cheddar, jalapenos, ranch sauce poured on top. And then we're gonna fry an egg. And throw that on top of it. That sounds like a fancy pants burger to and me. And we're done. And then we can just kind of relax. I can edit some videos. And I'm going to be in my pajamas, which most restaurants frown on. <laughs> so. so tomorrow, Saturday, day three of our vlog, day two of the conference. So excited. We're excited. We've got a bunch of things we're going to do. I'm not. Oh, I am in park. Okay. I'm just making sure the car is rolling forward <laughs> as I take my foot off of the brake. Hills. So... So, and we're thinking about, we're gonna release this video first thing in the morning, probably 7 a.m. Texas time. So that's what, 8 a.m. Florida time? Or is it 9 a.m.? 8 a.m., right there an hour. Yeah. Okay, so what we're thinking about doing is doing just a quick live stream for, on YouTube from KetoCon, maybe at like 12 o'clock our time. Texas time? Texas time. So you guys are going to have to let us know, you know, should we do that? So you're gonna have to leave in the comment section below, let us know, and then we will put a little message back up mm -hmm. and let you know exactly what time and we'll maybe do a quick live stream. Yeah. We've never done this before, so you're going to get Rachel unfiltered if we do this. But... Please pray for my mouth. <laughs> So let us know down in the comment section, should we do a live stream tomorrow, Saturday, a quick one, like 12 or 1 o'clock, we'll let you know exact what time tomorrow during the day. All right. Uh, so now we're going to go get in some PJs. Yeah. So if you like what you saw in today's video, do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon in that way. Every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.